This is a channel which is going to help you to obtain a distinction in life science. Keep in touch, we will be posting each and every section of life science until the end of the syllabus. Thank you. Let's look at DNA code of life. When we talk about DNA, uh, we know that uh, we have been using this in the movies. You have been seeing this in the movies about DNA. But what is DNA? If you remember in grade 10, uh, we covered some nucleic acids whereby we talked about DNA and RNA. So in this case, we are going to look at it in detail so that we know exactly what is DNA. This is one of the topics which you can answer very well and get all the marks. It is found in paper two. So it means that you have started your journey, you have started it with paper two. Make sure that uh, you understand this topic because one topic links to another topic. If you don't understand one topic, then it means that next topic will be a challenge for you, for you to understand. Let's start without wasting time. So you will be able to find us on YouTube, on Facebook, and our website. So you'll find the material and you'll find the videos which we'll be posting. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out for this time. Let's look at DNA, introduction about DNA. DNA is often referred to as a code of life. Why? Because it, it contains instructions on how to build various proteins. You know that our body is made up of proteins. Therefore, if our body is made up of proteins and what makes protein to be made is DNA, we say that DNA codes for life. So let's look at where is DNA uh, found? If you look at uh, this, you'll find out that DNA is found in the nucleus. This is the structure of the nucleus, if you remember in grade 10. So basically here, we are looking for the nucleus. So the DNA, we, shall, we can ask you a question that, where is DNA found? So basically here, we can see that DNA is found in the nucleus. So if you look at it, we call it chromatin network. Remember when chromatin ne network condenses, it forms what's called the chromosomes. If you uncoil and go into detail of the chromatin network, you'll find what's called DNA. But what is DNA in full? Because you can ask yourself, you have been talking about DNA. What is it in full? We're going to see it in detail. What is DNA in full? So we say that if you magnify, uh, you'll find out that if these chromatin network condensed, they form what called chromosomes. If you look at the chromosomes, if you make it bigger, or if you try to uh, magnify it, you find the DNA is found there. But we shall see that DNA is made up of different bases and different nucleotides. We are going to look at them in, in detail. Don't stress too much. You will understand it uh, better as we continue. We have seen that DNA is found in the nucleus. So when I talk about chromatin network, I talk about chromosomes, I talk about uh, DNA, I talk about genes, those are the same thing, but on different scale. For example, I can say, where do you stay? You can say that I'm for, uh, I stay in Africa. Where exactly in Africa? In South Africa. Where exactly in South Africa? In Gauteng. Where exactly in Gauteng? In Johannesburg. Where exactly in Johannesburg? In Florida. Where exactly in Florida? So you talk about different scales. So when you talk about chromatin network, talk about chromosome, talk about DNA, talk about genes, almost at almost the same thing but at uh, on different scale however when you are defining you can define them differently so let's look at the nucleic acids because we're seeing that this dna is an example of a, a nucleic acid so let's look at the nucleic acids nucleic acids it means that the acids which are found in the nucleus so we are saying that this nucleic acids we're saying that consist of nucleotides these acids they have what called nucleotides they are building blocks they are building blocks or the monomers so sometimes they can call you they can say the smallest unit of uh, a, a nucleic acid is called what is a nucleotide the, the smallest unit of dna is called what is a nucleotide those are questions we can ask you in an exam the smallest units or what are the small what are the monomers of dna what are the monomers of nucleic acids those are the nucleotides don't forget that the meaning of the nucleotide.
So let's look at it. A nucleotide is made up of number one, a phosphate group. You have to know this, a phosphate group. Yes, it, the phosphate group is represented as a circle. And then it's made up of a sugar. Basically, the sugar is it depends on which type of nucleic acid. It is either, either deoxyribose or it's a ribose. When we talk about the extra ribose, it means that D means negative. Oxy means oxygen ribose. It means that this kind of sugar lacks an oxygen somewhere. That's why it's called deoxy ribo ribose. So, oh, it's made up of a ribose, a sugar which you call ribose. It means that this one is full. I don't need to explain that that much. So it means that it is just full. Yes, we, you will study these uh, sugars more uh, when you go to uh, university. Uh, so because this sugar has five sides, therefore it is this kind of sugar is called a pentose. Penta means five. So it's made up of five sides, which means penta. Yes, so because it is a sugar, O-S-E indicates a sugar, like saying glucose, cause, yes, maltose ribose so all so because this is a sugar so so it is a kind the type of sugar yes is called a pentose but what is its name because of five sides therefore it's called a pentose but what is its name it is either deoxyribose or it is ribose so in exam what are we going to ask you we are going to ask you uh name this sugar don't call it a pentose if it's dna tell us it is uh, deoxyribose. It is uh, RNA. Tell us it is ribose. So we shall see when you go to the questions very well so that you can answer these questions without stress. Uh, another one is called nitrogenous base. So nitrogenous base, there are five types. We have what called the adenine, the thymine, the guanine, the cytosine, and the uracil. If it is DNA, then it means that it's going to have some specific uh, nitrogenous bases. If it is RNA, it's going to have some specific nitrogenous bases. So we will see which, which one goes to the DNA and then which one goes to RNA. So these nitrogenous bases, uh, they look like this, or sometimes we can make it a different shape, depends on which type of nitrogenous base uh, is that. So basically, we see that the structure of nucleic acid is made up of a phosphate group, is made up of a sugar, and made up of uh, a nitrogenous base. Which kind of sugar? It will depend on which type of nucleic acid is that, either DNA or RNA, and which kind of nitrogenous base is it having? It will also depend on which type of of nucleic acid is it? Is it DNA or is RNA? So sometimes they can ask you draw the structure of the nuclear, uh, the nucleotide. So the structure of the nucleotide looks like this: a phosphate which is represented with a P. Yes, a circle or it's a P, and then it is bonding with the sugar which is the S. Yes, this is a phosphate sugar bond or sugar phosphate bond, and then the sugar is bonded to a nitrogenous base. So this is the structure of a nucleotide. In exam, you don't need to shade this. How do you draw it? You just draw it like this, P, S, and N, depending on which type of nitrogenous base so that it will take the shape. However, even if you draw it as a rectangle, it still is fine. But this one must have five, uh, five sides because it is a pentose, and this one must be a circle. So that's how you can draw it in an exam. So it means that now you have marks already, you can, you have questions you can answer. If you visit the 2020 November, December exam, you'll find out that they brought this, this question, whereby you at least you need to describe this and you'll be able to get marks here. Yes, each point you speak is a tick. Then let's look at the types of nucleic acid, as we say that. There are two types of nucleic acids. Number one, DNA, that is deoxyribonucleic acid. We call it deoxyribonucleic acid. This, what, what is it? Deoxyribonucleic acid. This acid found in the nucleus lacks deoxy lacks oxygen somewhere this acid found in the nucleus has a sugar which is a ribo and this sugar lacks lacks the d lacks oxy oxygen 
on uh, a certain carbon atom or somewhere. So you basically, no one is going to ask you uh, to explain all this, but I am trying to explain to you so that you can understand what is DNA in full. Yes, so that is the oxyribonucleic acid. When you are writing, when you are writing what is DNA in full, you don't add SE here. No, you don't ask, add SE because this is not a sugar. It is, it is a molecule which contains that sugar. That's why we don't say the oxyribose. When you say the oxyribose and you click acid, we get, you, you get it wrong. It is the oxyribose, the oxyribose. There is no SE here, the oxyribonucleic acid. So these acids found in the nucleus, uh, they have a sugar which lacks oxygen somewhere. That's the mean. Uh -huh. Then we have another type which called RNA, which is ribonucleic acid. This molecule has, a, it is just a, a complete molecule. So it means that when you are writing, um, don't say that ribose nucleic acid because this is not a sugar. It's a molecule which contains a sugar. So we say that it's a ribonucleic acid. You remove that SE. If you say ribose nucleic acid, your answer is gonna be wrong. So you're supposed to be ribonucleic acid. So you have two types of nucleic acids. Number one, you have DNA. And then number two, you have RNA. Those are the two types of nucleic acid. So we're going to look at this in detail. And this DNA is the master of all. So it controls all the activities which are happening in your body. All structures which are developing in your body are being controlled by DNA. So that's why you say that DNA codes for life. Why? Because it, it, it controls all all activities without DNA, you are nothing. If there's no DNA, the cell, our cells are useless. So with the DNA, then we find ourselves there. And if any problem happens on DNA, it's going to affect your physical appearance. We will see this as we continue. DNA, let's look at it. Where is it located? The types of DNA we have depend or will be determined by where these DNA are found. Number one, we have nuclear DNA. It means that it's found in the nucleus. It's called the nuclear because it's found in the nucleus. You can't call it nucleus DNA. No, when you're adding something on the nucleus, then it becomes nuclear. It must end with R. Yes. Then you have mitochondrial DNA. You don't call it mitochondria. If you're adding something on the mitochondria, it becomes mitochondrial, mitochondrial DNA. This one is found in the mitochondria. And then you have chloroplastic DNA. This is found in the chloroplast. They brought this in uh, 2020. They brought this in 2020 exam, national exam. And people couldn't remember this. Use this material. It's going to help you to write correct answers and you'll be able to write without stress. All the information in these slides is very important. Watch the video if you don't understand a certain concept. Watch these videos so that you can understand. You, even if the teacher is not there or is having a problem, still you can use this material and you'll be able to pass your exam. That's why we are designing this material for you. So we have nuclear DNA found in the nucleus you have mitochondrial dna which is found in the mitochondria and then you have chloroplastic dna from the chloroplast so if you look at it it means that the type of dna will depend on where they are found so nuclear dna and the mitochondrial dna they are found in both plants and animals while chloroplastic because chloroplast it makes the plant to look green because of its component which is chlorophyll then it means that chlor uh, chloroplastic dna is only found in plants or other green organisms yes so um they can ask you name to where you can find dna in animal cell or in animals therefore the answer is going to be nucleus and then another answer is going to be mitochondria don't confuse the type and the area where that type is found students always confuse this please don't confuse where dna is found and where uh, and the type of dna all right let's continue how is dna discovered 
How did you come up with this DNA? History of discovery of DNA molecule. So here we're going to just look at just the basics, how DNA is discovered, just the small basics of, of how DNA is discovered. All right.